Well, like I said, it's now been four and a half hours and I haven't moved one inch. This is the worst thing I think I've ever experienced here in Canada. I'm in line to uh, get my ticket for the ferry over to Victoria, BC. Apparently it's about an hour and a half ferry ride. Uh, normally when you pre-book things on the internet they're cheaper, but in this case for the ferry it said about $96 for my van if you book it online. But if you just show up you can get it for like 76 bucks if there's space. So I'm going to try, it's 2 o'clock now, I'm going to try and get on the 3 o'clock. Uh, there's five cars in front of me. I don't know, if not, I might have to sit and wait two hours. Uh, it's two o'clock now. The three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock is booked. Uh, she could put me on the seven o'clock. But you can't actually buy your ticket and leave and come back five hours later. You have to get in line and sit in your vehicle for five hours waiting to get on the ferry. One thing I've noticed with COVID, now that everyone is working remotely is that no one's actually working. The amount of traffic I see Monday to Friday across the country is insane. No one works anymore. Now I got to debate what to do. I also wanted to do it during the day so I could see some stuff. I could film the ferry leaving and arriving in Victoria, but... So here's something new. I decided, you know what, screw it. It's going to be busy tomorrow, same thing, so I'll just go book the damn ticket. I'll wait five hours and get on at seven. So I debated this within about 10 minutes. I go back to the same lady and she says, well, now it's, you might not get on until nine. And I'm like, so I have to sit in line in my vehicle for seven hours and maybe get on at nine. I said, what are the chances that I get on at nine? She goes about two to 3%. So how does this system work? Apparently you book your reservations and if you have a reserve ticket, then you're okay. But a lot of people that book don't show up. So that opens it up to people that have bought a ticket and are in line waiting. So she said a lot of people might not show up, but everybody may show up. If, if no one shows up, you get on quicker. If everyone shows up for the reserve ticket, you don't get on. And it's the same tomorrow because it's Remembrance Day. And apparently then it's the weekend and it will be just as busy on the weekend. This gives you an idea of the lineup. There's all these different numbers, 41, 40, 39, and you can see the lineup going all the way, disappearing down there. Apparently it goes much, much, much further. And all these people have to sit and wait in their vehicles for five, six, seven hours, occasionally standing to stretch and getting back in your vehicle so you can get on a damn ferry that goes an hour and a half to either Nanaimo or Victoria. Yeah. All right, so I'm back to the same lady. She laughed when I pulled up this time and I said, I miss you, I just wanted to come say hi. We haven't talked in a while. And I said, what about Nanaimo? Because I, I don't care the order of the island. I was going to just do a bunch of crap on the island anyways, right? She goes, nope, Nanaimo's even worse. So I said, what is the soonest ferry anywhere on the bloody island? She said, actually, Victoria, where you were going to go anyways. So she said, maybe I'll get on at 7, hopefully, if not 9. Um, so I'm in line. I bought the ticket at 76 Canadian dollars. It's an hour and a half ferry, but take a look. That is my lineup. All, oh, let me zoom in, wait, 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 there we go, all the way down and it runs forever. Actually, the lineup, the lineup is probably bigger than the island of Vancouver Island itself. Oh, they make announcements. Attention, please, everyone return to your vehicles and move your ass forward. All right. Valves must be closed and tagged prior to boarding and throughout the crossing. Please drive slowly and follow the direction of terminal staff while boarding the vessel. Foot passengers bound for Victoria will board the vessel by way of the overhead passenger walkway at berth number 5. Passengers with bicycles or animals, please board on the main car deck. All drivers and passengers bound for Victoria, please prepare for boarding. Thank you for sailing with BC Ferries. Please prepare for boarding. Afternoon. And that's the people four hours ahead. Provide. Cool thing Customers about this is look. There is no smoking on board vessels. There's actually the sunshine. Oh my god, you can tell I'm out of Vancouver. I'm about a uh, 45 minute drive away from Vancouver, so. And finally some sun. Now I have my seven hour wait. 
Well, I figured it's time for an update. I've been uh, sitting two and a half hours in my spot behind this truck, and I haven't moved once. <laughs> and nobody has pulled up behind me, therefore I am the absolute last guy going to Victoria. <laughs> <sighs> All right, well, here's an update for you. Uh, it's now 6 p.m. I've been sitting for four hours in the exact same spot. I have not moved one inch and not one car has come behind me. There's a lot of cars on the other side, both sides of me, but four hours and I haven't moved. Let's see how long it takes me to get on this ferry. It'll probably be 7 a.m. Well, the good thing about uh, being stuck in this giant friggin' lineup is that I can cook in the back. I got some toast I just made here and I'm making some uh, some chunky stew, so getting some computer work done. <laughs> it's almost five hours and I still haven't moved a friggin' inch. So finally, after five hours of waiting, I'm finally moving. The row on the right already disappeared and now it's my turn. I don't know if I'll get on the ferry or not. Let's see. Birth number five, ooh, I might actually get on. I'm the last vehicle in my row too, so. Well, would you look at that? I am on the ferry. After about five and a half hours wait, So I'm on the Spirit of British Columbia. And there's two, well, deck three, four, five, six floors. Deck two and deck four are for vehicles. Deck five and six are the buffet, the shops, the coffee bar, and the lounges. Wow, like a cruise ship. So they're making a whole bunch of announcements for people to go turn the car alarms off because apparently the shaking of the ship sets all the alarms off. There's like six or seven cars going. So this map shows uh, where I'll be sailing. There's Vancouver, I drove down here to this port. And we go through all of these little islands to Schwartz Bay, which I then have to drive along to get to Victoria. This is the stuff I wanted to see during the day, but unfortunately they were sold out. So I'm doing it at night. Well, I'm now at Schwartz Bay here in Victoria, and as you can see, everybody's starting to move off. 